Welcome viewers, this is Winch here. What do you think is about to happen in this scenario? Well, stay tuned, I'll show you later on. It's uh, it's fairly interesting, I'll just say that. Uh, in this video I want to show you some uh, tips and strategies and uh, break down some moments and, and describe some uh, some decisions I make that are good and bad as well. But first of all, what video is not complete without a failed knife attempt? Oh yes, Need for Speed guy with his M16 and trusty knife fail there. Sorry man, I, I couldn't resist it. And I also had to throw this clip in too because it's just humorous. Uh, engineer class, a lot of fun sometimes, but did you just see where that guy went? He's going vertical. <laughs> oh, that was just incredible. Let's, let's see that again in slow motion. Got these two guys over here. I'm using SG553. Get some rounds on them. Uh, get some rounds on both of them, I think. So I decided to finish them off here with an RPG. If all else fails, try to you know shoot this thing at him. And sure enough, it hits him direct on. He goes straight up there. I thought that was pretty interesting. I, I want to leave that clip in there for you guys to uh, enjoy. Um, now, normally uh, with loadouts here, I want to talk about these clips here a little more in depth uh, in terms of tactics and strategies. Normally I would not endorse a suppressor on the Scar H uh, engineer class weapon, but certain circumstances when you're in matches, this one in particular, I was just playing by myself uh, on TDM. And I was just having a heck of a time playing against some of these higher level players, really good players, uh, in terms of just random players playing together. As you can see, that grenade just came out of nowhere. Uh, always getting, it seemed like I was just getting tag team for the most part. As soon as I fired my gun, just had multiple enemies on me. So I resorted to putting suppressor on my weapon. And a lot of times that'll kind of help keep you off the radar here. And you notice my sidearm, my sidearm there is the MP443 with the tack light. But the uh, suppressor a lot of times will help keep some of the heat off you and allow you to uh, engage multiple enemies without having to take in consideration an onslaught at any given time. Now in this scenario that's about to happen here is I'm kind of coming up around here in this high traffic area uh, on this map, uh, this aftermath map. Lots of activity here. Scar Edge is still a very powerful weapon, but right here I get caught off guard. That was my number one target, but what do you do in this situation again? Where you're caught off guard, I gotta reassess and reprioritize to the higher threat target, which is this guy charging at me. So, throw some bullets at him. I notice I've changed my attention again to my original suspect because now I'm behind cover and that guy's turned around and firing at me. Now I've got taken care of him. Now I'm gonna start pre firing here because I know this guy's gonna be running around this corner. I got 17 bullets in this clip. I may as well start pre firing and finish off him. And there it is again, slow motion as he flanks around that corner. The teammate there was trying to go in for the knife there, but again, perfect example of how to reprioritize your targets, reassess what is the highest priority threat, but you gotta be able to do it fairly quickly. Now as I move on here, I finish, I think I finished this guy off with a small, or at least get a hit marker on him. Uh, I move out here, I forget to reload my gun, so I got five bullets in my, in my magazine. So, as a wasteful shooter myself, I somehow managed to not kill this guy at all. I only get about one hit marker on him. So as a last resort, you always should you should always resort to the knife as a last resort. Um, in particular when you're in a close combat like that. That's what the point in time where a knife is a better choice than your pistol in that in that situ situation. Um, and then that search I'm just not a good knifer personally, but in certain circumstances you really gotta be able to whip that thing out and utilize it in, a, in an effective manner. And that was a classic example of that, and I'll demonstrate that one more time here later on in this, this video. Um, so I'm wrapping up this clip here as I uh, come up this escalator. Again, this is pretty much the main threat area in this map. Any, anywhere around this center, you're basically centered in the thick of the action. Always count on multiple enemies in here, but you gotta take into account whenever you're up on these balconies, you're going to be subjected to fire from down below. More likely, that's going to be your demise. So just be aware of that when you're on this map. Uh, what's this map called? Marquez, Monolith, something like that. These names, again, are very difficult to, uh, for me uh, a lot of times. So as I'm pushing up here again in the main traffic area, uh, just be aware of, of your surroundings all the time because you have multiple levels uh, of fire on this map. Uh, that, I mean, there's three tiers there. That's very important. Now as I come up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna to uh, stop this for a second, show you a mistake I made. So I, I was successful in taking out these two guys on top of that balcony, and I decided I'm gonna go up here, reassess the threats, forward to my position that are attacking us. 
And I was successful in taking out one of these guys that was a sniper, but I did not realize at the time this guy was a sniper. But I did notice his glimmering scope here the second time I peeked up here. See this scope? That should have been an indication to me that I need to pull back because he's got a 12x zoom scope. I'm not going to be able to take him out. And I was trying to pull out the small there to finish him off. But again, that was an example of me being too aggressive uh, or greedy in that situation. So know when to hold them, know when to fold them in that situation. I was already successful in taking about uh, three or four guys. Should have pulled back the moment I, I recognized that guy's scope. Scar H, terrible in these cir circumstances. That guy had the right idea of pulling out the knife. He almost, it, sometimes it, it takes, sometimes it doesn't. It just didn't work out in his favor there in that situation, but I've just looked out a little bit on that. Now around this corner here, I'm trying to use my weapon strengths to my advantage using the, the range capability of this gun. But again, with the suppressor on, I've kind of nerfed my range now that my damage drop-off increases. So now I'm kind of resorting to using multiple rounds to try to put down enemies. But as I come around this corner here, I notice that there's about three guys up here in this balcony. And there they are. So immediately I'm going to take cover behind this bush, throw a couple rounds at them, and try to withdraw from the engagement. And that's a good plan. But what I failed to do was follow it. For some reason I got greedy. I saw this guy jumping up here. I thought maybe I'll stick around here a little bit more, try to pull off another kill or two. Now in this situation, you really need to be pulling back full on and uh, reassessing the, the, the whole situation because it's about to go to hell in a handbasket here in a moment as these guys continually flood up here. Uh, again, here's where I stopped the clip and this is where I had the plan. I, I really need to pull back, but unfortunately I pull back here again, try to get one more kill and I get the magnum to the head there. So again, experienced players like that will take advantage of those uh, those uh, oversights on your behalf. If you're overly aggressive, you linger in an area too long, uh, they're gonna exploit that. Now here, at, this is Conquest Assault. This is on my server there. There's a failed knife there, huh buddy? Yeah, he was kind of upset about that. Um, this is Conquest Assault on my server now. You can you can Google or Google. You can search my server on a PlayStation 3. It's just called Dice Approved. Just search that. It's run all the time with TDM and Conquest. Now in this clip, uh, about the short two minute span, we pretty much win this match uh, based on this position, on this keystone position on this map. I've, I've mentioned this before, but in general, you notice I just disabled that tank there. In general, any time an enemy has an elevation advantage on you, they are going to have the tactical advantage. It doesn't matter what weapon's in their hand. It could be a sniper rifle, it can be a uh, carbine, it can be an assault weapon. It doesn't matter. Having this, uh, this shoot down ap approach really obviously eliminates your bullet drop for the most part uh, and it increases your weapon's effectiveness. Uh, your accuracy, you don't really have to account for drop. It, obviously, if you have a suppressor or some type of sniper rifle, uh, it's much easier to aim down as opposed to aiming up. Uh, but here's, you notice I disable that tank. I'm about to take one more tank out here in a minute. So in this, this short uh, time frame, I managed to disable and eliminate two tanks, take out multiple enemies. So we secure the position as a result and turn the tide of this entire battle. Of, co of course, Conquest Assault, a very intense uh, game mode. That's why it's my favorite game mode because every vet flag is so vital. Um, and it's just a constant battle, very high paced action. So here this guy, he had the right idea, I throw some bullets at him, but the SG-553 just doesn't do that much damage at range, even though I was getting hits on him. But here their tank rolls around to T-90. I've got a javelin equipped. Now remember how effective the javelin is up at elevation, particularly when you get a shot on a tank from the top or the rear. So I get killed there at the end, but my javelin did launch. Pull out a triple kill there, destroy that tank. We pretty much go on to win the match instantly after that. So elevation, can't harp on it enough. Now Tehran Highway here, Team Deathmatch. I'm running with the PKP. Uh, great weapon for uh, close to medium range engagements, hard, large uh, extended mag capacity here. Pull up here around, drop this guy. And now I'm about to go up here on top of this roof. Now I have a guy firing at me from behind, I see it on the minimap. See this, a classic example, I've said it a hundred times before, I'm going to keep harping on it. You don't chase support class players, guys. Just don't do it. Because if you do, you're going to get C4, you're going to get a Claymore. I prefer C4 because it has a higher blast radius, and you're more often not going to take out two guys uh, if there's two close together as opposed to if there was a Claymore. You're only going to get one of them. I'm going to show that again here in a minute. Now for Moss. 
Again, I want to hit this home about the knife. Uh, the FAMAS, a great weapon for close quarters combat. It has the highest fire rate of any weapon. Some argue it's AN-94, but I disagree. Uh, you know, we got to time the firing, right? So, yeah, sure. Uh, so here I am, multiple guys coming around. You know, again, on this match too, I, I was teabagging everybody because it was just I was just getting overrun by these guys. Again, don't knife unless it's absolutely vital. Right here, you can see my aim is just horrible. I give up, throw out the knife real quick, and uh, manage to take him down. As you're getting overrun there, that's about all you can do. Now in this final clip here, this will uh, this will uh, lead into that first still frame I showed you. Again, elevation, it's on every map. Cover your bases, cover your entrances, uh, particularly when you are the center of attention where you're pretty much the only man on your team doing anything. Uh, you're facing a lot of opposition. We were just getting steamrolled by this team, and I was just, I, I was just fed up with this. So I pulled out a big support class LMG and just try to do what I could do to stem these guys. But here I have I have cover, I have 360 degrees of view, and I have my only entrance covered. Uh, call it campy, but as you can see, I'm recessing lots of uh, threats around. I don't know how I don't manage to wipe out any of these three guys I'm shooting at right here. Just complete embarrassment. Well, I guess I got one of them. I easily should have all throw three of those guys. But um, you're still forced up here. I mean, uh, basically, I'm able to deliver fire at any direction. And if I'm getting overrun by enemies at close range, that's when I can deploy that C4 and uh, do it here again as a backup. Drop two more guys right here. Uh, always watching the mini map. Drop him. Now watch this. And I'm going to play this again. Here it is. Oh, we failed knife with the C4. Oh, just beautiful. No, I don't think so, gentlemen. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that clip. Uh, there's a still again right before I pulled the trigger and actually used his body as a shield to pretty much uh, protect myself from my own C4 there from taking me out as well. Just incredible epic moment. But good tactics nonetheless. I, as you can see, I kind of solicited some help from my teammates there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will have more to come.